All right, now let's go ahead and make the dowel for this so we can add it to our parts list, and we can also drill the holes, simulate drilling the holes in these end caps right here. So to do that, that's real easy. What we can do is we can, to drill the hole, let's just right click on a piece. Uh, let's just go to edit. So what edit does is instead of opening the part file by itself, you know, so it's just by itself like this, I can edit the part directly from my assembly. So if you notice at the top, I have all of my regular drawing tools for the part. So right now I'm editing the part, but I can still see the whole assembly if I need to. So let's just put a little quarter inch hole on the end here. So I'm going to hit start sketch, click on the end face, and let's add a circle. Let's make it a quarter of an inch, click very center, 0.25, hit OK, finish sketch. Now to make that a hole, what I'm going to do is extrude. So extrude can do two things. It can bring a piece out and it can also cut a piece in. So I'm going to use this cut and I'm going to change my distance to all. And what that's going to do is it's going to cut all the way through the piece. Hit OK. So again, I'll do that again real quick. You got your circle, draw your circle, 0.25 inches, extrude, cut, distance, all. Hit OK. So now I've got that hole right there for my nozzle. When you want to go back to your assembly, hit this return button up top. So I hit return. And you notice I've got the hole there. I also have the hole on this other cap because I used the same file, the same part file. If I open up that part file, it's going to have a hole in it now. That's okay. Uh, when we add the pump on here, so your nozzle, you have a very small hole. For your pump right here, you're going to have a larger hole. This one will work right now for our purposes, but when we get into the lab, you'll actually drill a larger hole. So let's go ahead and make the dowel right now. Again, if you look at the board in the lab, your dowel is going to be 14 inches long. It's going to be a half inch diameter dowel. So let's create a new part. File, new part, start sketch, click a plane. It's going to be a diameter of 0.5 inches or one half. You can type in 0.5, you can type in one slash two, they both work. Hit finish sketch. I want to extrude this 14 inches. Extrude, click on my circle, hit 14. Now if I want to add a little handle to it, you can do that. You can 3D print it, you can make it out of wood, you can just use the handle. So let's just make a little handle right here. Let's say like a four inch handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Start Sketch, click on the end here, and let's make a handle that is 3 quarters of an inch. So 0.75, or again I can do 3 slash 4, both give me the same answer. Hit Finish Sketch, Extrude. So when I hit Extrude, it's going to automatically do it at 14 inches that direction. I only want to go four inches, and I want to go the other way. So I can hit this button here, change directions, hit OK. So that's going to be my handle. And if we want to get fancy, actually at the top here, we can make it look like wood. So let's change this default. So these are all a whole bunch of different textures that I can make. I can make it look like it's gold. You can make it brass, metal, so you can sort through all these if you like. Let's just make it white, and uh, let's, let's go with white oak. Lovely. All right, so there is our wood pump handle. So we're going to do a file, save as, and pump handle. Now another thing we can do, 
a step we can do now to save us a step later is we can tell the computer what this is. Computer obviously has no idea what this is. It just knows you made a couple of circles and made it extruded it. If I come up here to my pump handle.ipt, if I right click, go down to I properties. It's going to bring up this screen right here. This just tells you about the file, where it's located, how big it is. But if I go over to Project, our part number right here, we can change this to, it already said pump handle, let's put a space in there. For description, let's call it a 14 inch by 1 half inch dowel. Hit apply. Hit close. If you know the cost of it, you can put the price right here. Let's say it's a dollar. Hit apply. Hit close. So now I'll save that again. So let's go back to our assembly and add this in here. Place that pump handle. Hit open. Click it. Right click OK. So this is a half inch diameter, that's a quarter inch. In real life this wouldn't fit through there, but the computer will let you do it. So what I'm going to do, actually instead of an insert, I'm going to use a mate. So just hit constrain. You want to find the edge of the circle here where you can see this axis that's running through. So click that. And then the same with this circle right here. Click it where you can see this line right here, this axis going through. So right here. And what we'll, that will do, instead of a regular insert, hit apply. So that will allow me to move it in and out. So when I pull this in and out, because those are all loose, if I want to, let's say this part, right click, ground it. So now, you can pump your water blaster. So let's go ahead and save that one. Because that added more parts to it. So it looks good. So now let's save that. If it gives you any of these, just make sure they all say yes, hit OK. So now let's go on into creating our parts diagram.